What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So I'm out here, I'm fixing to go do my chores and stuff. I'm going to bring you guys along with me like every other time, but this time it is a little different. So I told you guys I was going to get a new camera and uh, I did. And this is the first video that I'm using with this new camera. Um, it's got a little different setup. It's got this wireless mic here that I'm wearing on my shirt. So don't pay no attention to that. But otherwise it has a uh, stabilizer deal on it. So it hopefully will stabilize the video a lot more. And uh, you know, we, we've had some people leave us comments in the past saying, I try to watch your videos, but when you're carrying those buckets and stuff and you're slinging the camera around and all that, I just get a little bit motion sickness. So we're gonna try this new camera out and just see how it goes. So bear with me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I got my chickens right here. I'm gonna try to zoom in on them. I'm gonna try to turn this around maybe and see what it'll do. What do you know? Look at there. We're gonna try out the zoom on it and all that good stuff. Maybe. Chickens do something. I guess they don't wanna do nothing. All right, let's try this. All right, there we go, there's the zoom. Let's see here. Girls, y'all eating grass or what? So it's got a little bit of a zoom on it, not nothing crazy, but looks like about four times zoom. Yeah, this thing is going to take some getting used to for sure, but hopefully in the long run, it will uh, it'll help us produce some better videos. So I'm going to turn this thing back around and uh, it'll do like a face detect and stuff like that, which I don't care about being on the videos myself all the time. But I'm going to go out here. We're going to go feed. Uh, we'll go feed Mojo and then first, then we'll come out and uh, finish the video with Russell, Lisky and Cora. You guys seen the last video. Russell has been doing excellent with his training. Rachel's been doing a wonderful job. She she didn't like me teasing her about being a professional. So, but anyways, I'm I'm very glad that she uh, has been working with Russell because it makes a huge difference when you're raising these dogs. No matter if they're guardian dogs or just inside house dogs, whatever they are, if you don't have a dog that you can kind of handle and uh, you know take to the vet and stuff, you know leash train and all that. It, it makes it hard so i'm very thankful she's been working with russell and he's a smart dog not taking away anything away from him he is a very smart dog so anyways i hope this um audio is good like i said i got this mic here hopefully you guys know whenever we're out here videoing today's like the only exception it's not super crazy windy um i've got a brush pile down at the lake property i need to burn but we've been having like 25 to 30 mile per hour gust for all of last week and even next week today was the only day and I had a hundred other things I needed to get done so I didn't get to do that today but I still got the tractor you guys can see back behind me the tractor still loaded up on the trailer it's ready to go I just need to go do it I probably should have got around and uh, tried to do it today because today is the only day it's not gonna be crazy windy but it is a little windy but we're gonna see how this mic does in this wind hopefully it's better than the other camera and hopefully the video is a little more stable so let me get some food We'll go, uh, we'll go feed Big Mo, see uh, how all they're doing, and then uh, we'll go see Russell and all that crew. Oh, here comes my buddy Smeagol. Smeagol, come try out the camera for me, buddy. Hey, let's do facial recognition on you. You want to? I don't know if it'll do it on you. Hey. There you are. Yeah, I don't think it's going to... I think it only does it works on people. It only works on people, but it's cool to see. I'm gonna walk around a little bit, just see what the, uh, how this turns out. When I go back to edit it, that'll really tell me how it does. You got anything to say? It looks like you just woke up from a nap, huh? Hey, you just wake up from a nap or what? Figured. He eats and sleeps and hunts mice, right? Yeah, he's a pretty good boy. All right, let's grab some food and go see Mojo. All right. Get Mr. Mo an egg here. Oh. Like I said, the girls are absolutely they're working they're working overtime. They are producing some eggs. I gotta get the freeze dryer up and running again and uh, get some eggs in there. I'm not complaining by no means. Alright. Oh, I hear Mr. Russell. He hears me. He's crying. 
I usually feed them first, but we're gonna go this way first. Go see what Mr. Mojo's up to. Hey, little Banny. That's uh, Black Betty's, one of Black Betty's daughters. All right, so um, I don't know how it is where you guys are, but uh, the pollen and stuff, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> is absolutely crazy right now. My allergies have been up and down for the past week, but the bees absolutely love it. You guys know we got the beehives behind us, and uh, now I'm walking into the sun. The sun's gonna kinda be on this lens of this camera, so we'll kinda test it. A little bit there. There's my main, main man, Mojo. What do you have to say, huh? What you been doing, buddy? Oh, you know, Dad, I've just been kind of hanging around the house. Oh, I'm tired, but I sure am hungry. i just been watching for uh, predators, making sure there's no coyotes lounging around. So actually, I'm going to throw up a video. I caught Mr. Mojo. I'm going to throw up this video right here. And show you guys just what he did this morning when uh, Rachel was taking the kids to school. So there you go, that's what Mr. Mojo did. He decided he wanted to run outside the gate of our property and uh, just go kind of mark his territory. Oh, you want to shake? Here, shake. Shake. You want to shake? Put your hand up here. There you go. You come to me, Dad. I don't come to you. I know this. It's 50-50, okay? So anyways, he ran outside the fence over there, and uh, I don't know, did you did you smell coyotes this morning or something? And you said, I'm going to go mark my territory so the coyotes won't come around anymore. Is that what you do? Huh? Is that what you did? He said, yeah, I see that egg. Are you going to feed me or just talk all night? He's like, I see you got a new camera. Look how big this guy's paws are. He's got some big old paws on him. Russell's going to be pretty big too, I think. He's got some big old paws. Let's go get your, uh, let's go get you fed. So uh, anyways, that's one that's one way that um, livestock guardian dogs kind of deter predators is they will go out all around the fence line, all around your border of your farm. Even sometimes they'll go further. They make their own territory. Um, if these livestock guardian dogs can get outside of your fence, they'll actually go out and about all over and uh, start, start marking places to keep the predators away, especially the coyotes. And uh, I'm still trying to kind of figure this camera out. I think it's like focusing on Mojo's face now or something. So it's got this little joystick on it and I can kind of control the lens with that. So it's pretty cool. So uh, like I said, bear with me. I know you guys, I know you guys don't mind if I mess up here and there. Well, we're trying to make better quality videos for you. So uh, sometimes investing in some uh, better equipment and stuff is part of that deal. So, all right, enough of me. Let's get on some of the animals. There's Miss Ghostface. We'll get a little close up of her. See how she's doing. Well, you know, girl, huh? She said, just give me a handful of them of that feed and I'll be doing pretty good. And you got the chickens trying to steal some uh, feed. If y'all will be patient, I'll get you some. All right, let's throw some over here. Get them over here. Now this is where people get a little motion sickness in our videos because whenever I'm coming in here, I got this big camera Okay, look at this is part of what I'm dealing with here. I got this big heavy bucket, 30 pounds of feed right here, approximately. <laughs> Usually I got this big old camera I'm carrying with the big, like a tripod on it. And whenever I get close to here, I have to double hand the bucket. 
and try to uh, avoid getting tripped by the goats. So we're just doing a little t test here to see if this actually comes out a little more stable. There we go. All right, now you got the chickens following me. We got turkeys, we got the geese and the emus. All right, Big Mo. I'm gonna take the bucket with me this time because I think I'm gonna have a bunch of eggs again. The girls have been laying like crazy. Okay, Dad, just feed me, he said. Here you go. All right, look at this big egg. Look at this one. One of the girls have been laying these giant eggs. Look at this. Let's see if you guys can see this. This is a huge chicken egg. And she always lays these really round eggs. It's not really shaped like a uh, traditional egg, you might say. All right. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. You want me to feed you? You got to back up a little bit. All right. There you go. So I can't believe Mojo tried to run away. Did you try to run away from the farm today or what? He tried to leave. I don't know. I don't know what he was uh, thinking. Look here. Let's see if we can zoom in here. She's she's over here eating the egg. So this just actually gives chickens a little bit of calcium back in their diet. Nothing wrong with feeding them the eggshells. They need calcium for uh, strong eggshells, so it's kind of important. All right, let's take our bucket. Where's a... Uh... Oh, I was like, where is Mr. Yoshi? He's right there. Hey, mister, you and uh, Mrs. Yonig right here, they have their own feeder full of... Full of great quality feed right now but they want to they want to eat over here with the goats and he was kneeled down like this and i couldn't even tell he was over here because i'm normally looking up for a uh big tall emu and he's over here uh kneeling down with the goats so you can you can see how big they are he he's about as uh tall as i am when he stands up straight but anyways let's go on over here check on miss betty We'll go get some eggs out of the chicken coop. Make sure they got water and feed. They should all be good. We just went through all the waters and stuff last night. Oh, I see the baby chicks. Let's see how they're doing. Remind, remind me not to get lost in here. Hey, Miss Betty. Let me zoom in on you. See how your chicks are doing. You still got all five of your chicks? Huh? Oh, there they are. You guys can kind of see them now. All right, Betty, you're doing pretty good. Your chicks are growing nice and big. We'll keep you guys in here to kind of keep you protected. So if you guys missed a video on uh, whenever we caught Betty and put her in here, actually, I didn't video that, but um, I kind of talked about it. I did make a video talking about Betty had some new kids. She goes out in the woods, has a bunch of eggs out there, hatches them, brings them back. Well, She's done that for several years, and um, when we don't pin them up, the hawks and the predators, the aerial predators, kind of wipe them out. So we finally caught Betty and all her little chicks and put them back into this chicken tractor to try to give them a little bit of a chance at life. Because once these little uh, chicks get bigger, they're going to be some uh, pretty good bannies. When I say good, I mean like hardy, um, really flighty. They're not like the big hens that just lay around and uh, get peck, picked off by the predators. They're actually pretty, pretty tough birds. So we're in the chicken coop, kind of testing the lighting. Um, it gets a little dark in here. We do have a light up here, but it is pretty dark in here. So I'm just kind of testing this new camera out to see the limitations of it, stuff like that. All right, let's turn this around, go back in this really dark place. Hey girls, goodness, you got a lot of eggs in here too. I didn't bring my bucket. All right, I'm gonna have to make this one mad. All right, I gotta quit. Uh... All right, there we go. Hey, you can't be sitting on the eggs. Every day I come in here for the past week, you've been uh, trying to hatch the eggs out and we can't, we don't need any more chickens right now. 
All right, I'm locked in here too, but look at this. I got an actual metal piece of metal bailing wire hooked up there. No, 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 you don't come out. All right, we'll get these eggs and a couple more. My hand's full. Of course, i am got a smaller camera now, but uh, when you're getting eggs and stuff, you still got to hold the camera with one hand, no matter what size it is. There we go, last one. So, there's still that. Oh, and I've got to figure out the angles and the lens and, you know, widescreen, all that stuff on here. I don't know exactly what all it has. I know it is a nice camera. And now we're walking back into the sun. So you guys can see the sun up there. And here's Mr. Yoshi. Hey. So people wanted to know in, the, in one of the last videos in the comments, how come you haven't been being a weirdo lately? Why are you walking away from me? Huh? When's your egg going to start laying eggs? Can you talk to her and tell me? Huh? Who's the weirdo now, huh? That's what he's saying. So, anyway, still no eggs. Um, haven't seen any geese eggs anymore, and I have not seen any turkey eggs anymore. Or actually, she hasn't even started this year, so still waiting on that for sure. I wouldn't mind hatching out um, a couple more turkeys because if you guys have been following us for a while, then you probably know um, Walt and Matilda, both our turkeys, are getting up there in age. So. We kind of probably need to start looking at uh, getting their replacements because they're getting a little bit old. Well, how are you, mister? You're shaking your tail off a lot. Did you get your belly full? Are you happy? Huh? Are you happy? Are you happy? What do you think of this new camera? You think it's going to work out all right or what? Is that a good sign? Huh? Is that a good sign? Your tail's going 90 to nothing. That's a good sign. How about I pet you? Huh? Oh, I see what you want. Let's see. How about a banny egg? Here. How about one of these? You want one of these? Here. You can have it. I'll share it with you. You can have it. You can eat it. Eat it. Go ahead. Eat your egg. You want me to leave you alone so you can eat it in peace? Huh? I know you're going to eat it as soon as I walk off. Alright. See you later, man. What I tell you guys, look. He knows how to crack them and eat them. He's pretty smart. He just kind of lightly bites them with his teeth, kind of cracks it, and then he starts licking the yolk and all the goody out of the eggshell. So like I said, we are in an abundance of eggs right now, so I have no problem uh, sharing with Mr. Mojo, like you guys can kind of see in here. Got a lot of eggs. We got a whole refrigerator full of eggs. And, uh, we're fixing to go get the freeze dryer fired back up. There's Mr. Smeagol. There's the emus. There's the turkey. Hen. What? All right, so we got, uh, Deputy Sheriff Smeagol. He's got a story to tell us. What's what is it? What are you telling us? You're the one yelling at us. What do you want? Huh? Oh, you just want me to pet you? Huh? You just want me to pet you, man? I can do that. You're a pretty good cat. You're a pretty good cat. What do you think about the new camera? Huh? Does that feel good? What do you think of the new camera? Oh, you're gonna eat grass? Okay. Okay. All right, so uh, what I was saying is we've got so many eggs right now. We eat a lot of eggs. Our dogs eat a lot of eggs, but as you guys can tell, we got a lot of chickens. A lot of chickens, even with the predators that wipe them out, you know. You got chickens at free range. They're going to find a way to hatch new babies out. They go in the woods. They go hide under tractors, trailers, stuff that you don't move all the time. And it only takes three weeks, about 21 days for these baby chicks to hatch out of eggs so these mamas will find a way to hatch some babies almost every year so we're always coming up with chickens that we didn't plan on raising but it's just part of it 
But um, a lot of people want to know what we do with all our extra eggs, and that's where the freeze dryer comes in. We have a medium-sized Harvest Right freeze dryer, and a lot of people always want to know uh, where they can get one, if we have a coupon code and stuff like that. So I will leave a link in the description below if you guys are interested in uh, getting your own Harvest Right freeze dryer. Check out the link in the description below. You can save some money. Um, we are very pleased with it. We've done everything from meat to fruits to vegetables to eggs to candy you can do all kinds of stuff and the cool thing about it is it's a long-term food storage so go check it out it's very cool it's uh coming in handy because we don't like wasting anything especially all the work that we put in raising these chickens and feeding them the dogs protecting them all that type of stuff they're getting all these extra eggs and stuff, and uh, instead of wasting them, we'll freeze dry them and use them at a later date. Because there's, if you guys followed us last summer, or last fall, the girls weren't laying a lot of eggs. So we were getting close there where we didn't have a lot of extra eggs. So, alright, let's get some food and uh, go feed uh, Mr. Russell, Leesky, and Cora. Mr. Russell's food, and then we'll get three eggs. All right, here comes the challenge. Now I got two buckets to carry, and the camera. What, you want some on the ground? Huh? Here you go. Hold on, let me get let me get that out of the way before you. That'll fit. All right, here we go. Now he's meowing. Okay, this is where it gets fun. Feed, there's my buddy Russell. <laughs> he's gonna run into the barn with the goats. He knows, it. he knows, he knows how it works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh goodness, I missed you too, little buddy. I missed you too, little buddy. Hey goat, you wanna be on camera? What is it, Russ? What do you think of the new camera? Huh? Oh goodness, you're not supposed to lick it. Come on, let's go in here. Come on. Come on. Come on, Russ. He's gonna run around the barn. Come on, Russ. Watch him run in here. He's back there. Right, I'm gonna feed I'm gonna feed mom and daddy real quick. Come on, Mom and Daddy. Come on, Cora, Leesky. Leesky! Come on. Cora, come on. Come on. You coming, Lees? Okay, let's see if we can do this. Leesky, come on. Leesky, come. Whiskey, come. Come here, Leesky. Come on. Cora's gonna come at least. Alright, now they're coming. Good. Alright, we'll see how good this camera does because I know I get crazy with it whenever I'm feeding. Uh, Russell, come on. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on, boy. If you wait too long, then Russell, he'll come and eat. He'll come and eat mom and daddy's food. Come on, Russ. All right. So this is where it gets a little dizzy, too. Come on, Russell. <whistles> Russell, come on. If you wait too long, Russell gets tired of waiting. And, uh, all right. Let's adjust this. All right. Russell! Alright, I might have just messed up. It took too long. Russell, come on, buddy. Russell! <whistles> Alright, what do I do with this food? Russ! Russell! Come here, buddy! Russ! Russell, come on, bud! All right. Oh, I took too long, and now he's gonna sit here and eat. His come on, let's go. Come on, 
You want to go eat? Russell, come on, buddy. Russell, come on, I got a can of food for you. He's, he's cleaning up his daddy's. Russ, you want your own food, bud? All right. This is always a problem, trying to figure out the whole dog thing. But I do got a can here. We'll see what he what he thinks. Oh, he heard it. He heard it. You want you want to go get your food, huh? Look at there. What do you think? Come on, let's go. Come on, Russ. Russell, come. Russell, come. He's hungry. Oh, this ain't gonna work. You better turn around, Leesky. He said, "I'll eat that canned food, Dad." I don't mind. Russell! <whistles> now I see Skeeter. Come on, Russ. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come, Russell. Here he comes. All right, come on. He knows what we're doing. Come on, Russ. Come on here. Come. Good boy. Come on. Let's go in here and eat. Come on. I know I messed things up today. I was talking too much with this camera, I think. Come here, Russ. Come, good boy. All right, come on. Let's go in here and feed you. We're gonna have to figure something else out. You don't have to eat in here all the time anymore. No, you don't have to. Come on. Come on. Here, look. Come on, buddy. Okay, come on. All right, Russ. Well, I didn't really mean to get that all over my hands, but it happened. Oh, there's a hair. All right, there you go, buddy. Hey, girls. What you girls doing, huh? Y'all being good, huh? You and Olaf been playing? You girls and Olaf been playing today? Yeah, they're pretty girls. Little mini donkeys. They're sweet mini donkeys, aren't you? And you got Mr. Olaf over here. He's still being good. He ain't got out yet. Just chilling with the donkeys every day. Good girls. You guys enjoying all that green grass coming in, huh? You guys enjoying all the grass and the weeds everywhere? So Russell still really enjoys his egg. That's an emu feather. I don't know how that got over here. That's the whole wrong field. Look how big this guy's paws is already. Already he got some giant old paws. Just like daddy over here. You sure did eat fast, Leesky. Were you not that hungry tonight or what? Huh? You not hungry tonight that much? Or did you just eat fast? So Miss, Mr. Leesky's got some big old paws as well. And the same as Mr. Russell. So he's eating his, eating his vittles. Coco, you're being goofy. You're being goofy, girl. I don't have no treats in my pocket. I don't have no treats in my pocket. Nope. So one thing about horses and donkeys is they have like the, the softest snouts or noses I've ever felt. They almost feel like suede. Just super smooth, super soft. It's crazy. All right, I guess Russell's done eating. Did you get your little belly full, huh? Did you get your little belly full? Good boy. I don't have any treats to work on your uh, sitting and such, but you've been doing very good. I'm proud of you. Yep, you got egg all over your mouth. You're all sticky. Yep, boy's all sticky. All right, let's go see how Mama's doing. We'll end the video. Oh, I gotta get my uh, gotta get my feed scoop. All right. Well, I just thought they were done. Now they're gonna share, I guess. 
he likes eating with his mom and dad. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's, oh, man, I'm dropping everything. It's, it's, it's pretty cool to watch um, him interact with his mom and dad. The other day, they were, the other day, early in the morning, they were outside and they were playing super rough. I think it's part of their training uh, between uh, mom and baby. They were playing really rough, weren't you? Where'd you go? Huh? You all were playing really rough the other day, weren't you? Huh? Was you just training your boy? Huh? Was you just training that puppy? Yeah, that's part of it, huh? Part of it. So I said they were being rough. I don't mean that she was like intentionally hurting him or nothing like that. It's just they were playing like crazy, running around, tackling each other. Leesky was getting in on it. Russell was getting mom and dad both. And he's he's getting a lot bigger now. He's getting a lot stronger. So uh, they're really, I think they're really working with him to trying to teach him to uh, help him out to be a livestock garden dog. You see he's behind me now. Russell, man, what you doing, brother? Huh? What you doing? You gonna come say bye? Huh? You wanna help me in the video? He likes bite. He's trying to bite this mic on my shirt. Good boy. You're really soft too. Good boy. All right. So anyways guys, hopefully this video turned out okay. Uh, just kind of doing some of the main chores we do every evening Nothing special, but I wanted to try out this new camera and hopefully it'll help us bring a little bit better quality uh, videos to our channel here and uh, Hopefully this audio and all this stuff sounds okay in the wind and all that uh, sometimes When I want to come out in video, I just cannot come out in video because the wind and everything is just so crazy and I want to turn this camera around and show you guys one of our kid goats I want to show you how different she looks now now she's gonna get up and leave but look at her color that goat was like a solid black and uh, now she's almost like a tan like I don't even know how to explain it she's really pretty so Anyways, guys, uh, appreciate you guys clicking on the video. Please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel yet. Leave us a comment. We always love reading your comments. Like this video, and we'll see you next time.